Hey y'all, out here at the uh, Street Ride Nationals Plus 2014, and I got a 1972 Plymouth Cuda. That yeah, it, the story behind it, the car, it's very cool, good looking car, but it's got a lot of original parts on it. It's really hard to believe, but I know the man's telling me the truth. So anyways, this Terry's car, let me run him down and we'll take a look at it. Terry, how are you, brother? Hey, morning, doing good. Good, how you doing, good, Scotty? good, good, good. Tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about your hot run. It's a 1972 Plymouth Barracuda, and it's uh, originally a 340 automatic car. Right. Uh, since then, it's been upgraded to the big block. It's got a Hemi in it. It's got the lowered uh, suspension. Like a new, my, a new Hemi, or do you go with an older style Hemi? This is a uh, vintage 67 casting no, 426 good. Hemi. Can you go get one of those over the counter, or do you have to run it down? Uh, we found that in an old truck. Oh, okay. And we bought the whole truck, and eventually we uh, sold the truck and kept the engine. And we wanted to put it in something like for an e-body four-speed. And my dad found this at uh, Bobby's Auto Sales in Jeffersonville. And it was a mismatch piece. It wasn't complete car, right. but it was on the back lot, and we bought it right on the spot. I gotcha. And I was just noticing, I've never noticed that before, but it's just got little winglets on it, not a uh, whole chin spoiler. Yes, sir. Those are eyebrow uh, spoilers. They were for AAR Cudas. Right. And it's uh, just an option that I wanted to put on the 72. Uh, another one of the features that you couldn't get from 72 and up. So you just, being a Mopar fan, when you had the opportunity to do this, you wanted to kind of build your perfect Mopar. Had they done it, this is exactly what we should have done. That's correct. Have you been a Mopar fan a long time? I have been since uh, early 70s. Cool. Yes. Boy, that's a beautiful car. Thank you very much. How long has it been done? Uh, this paint job was done in 1989. It was painted in Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, it just been taken care of, been garage kept, uh, on car cover, and trailered often. But recently, I've been able to drive it more. I'm right. starting to enjoy it more than what I used to. Well, the thing about it is, is man, that's holding up really well Thank for 25 you. years, no doubt about that. But also, you can, you know, with probably in the next 10 years or so, you're going to have to redo it again. So you might as well get a little fun out of what you got, right? It is fun. Yeah. Yes, oh man, it just looks fun to drive. Can you open the headers up on it and all that? Yes, I did a special cutout on the uh, hooker headers that, uh, with three Zeus bolts on each side, I can uncap the headers in about two minutes. No, kidding. they're not electric, but they're old school. Right, right. Yeah. And that's and, that, and that's what you were going for. Yes, sir. I mean that's the whole thing I, about it. I, I mean you went and put a '67 in there when you, I don't know if you could have got a motor over the counter back then, but it no. would have been easier to go get something like that. It model. sure would have. Yeah. Yes, sir. Man. And then it says Hearst equipped. That was that's how it would have been too, or that was just a kind of a thing you put that, on there. That's an added feature that I found uh, on the internet and uh, put that. It kind of goes with the Hearst shifter that the that, grip that was all, yeah. an option in the car. Right. Yes, sir. Pistol yeah. grip shifter. It's got uh, full flow mastered exhaust. It's got the, the stock type style tips on it. I love that you don't have any hubcaps on it. And here's the funny thing, I talk about this, you know, I'm a child of the 80s, and the thing is, is that back then, white letter tires had to have them, buddy. You just couldn't be without those, right? So yes. now, yeah, everything's black walls. I'm but. trying to find more of them, too. They don't make the ST radials anymore. All right, well, anybody out there knows where some are at, get with Terry. But anyways, now you're starting to see some of these cars that are doing period-type builds where they're putting them back on, and it's just very cool to see, yes, you know? Yes, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, no, I love it. A little Sox and Martin sticker on it. Tribute to Ronnie Sox. Can you open that door for me? Yes, sir. Let me get on this side. I know I'd confuse you. I'm not a very good director. No, you're doing fine. Man, that's nice. And you tell me, you said that the front seat covers and the carpet have been replaced, but everything else is original. And the original. headliner. And the headliner. The rest of it's original, except for the uh, the tack, the gauges, and the seat belts. And I have everything original for it. Yeah, oh yeah. I'd... That's nice to put in there, but I took for <laughs> granted. Anything that came off of this car, you probably got in a box yeah, somewhere absolutely. in the garage. Man, door panels and everything. And here's the one that's going to blow your mind, folks. Tell them how old that convertible, there, that vinyl top is. That vinyl top came original on the car in 1972. That's insane. It's still pliable and clean. And it didn't rust. Exactly. That's crazy. That was the problem. I mean, yeah, maybe they'd last a while, but they you start got on rust. the seat panel right there. Right. And they start to rust. Right. Do these side windows come down in this model? Uh, yes, they do. Man, dude. That is a cool car. This is one of those iconic cars. 
And if you're a hot rodder, it doesn't matter if it's, let's switch sides again so we can get straight. If you're a hot rider, it doesn't matter if you like Fords or Chevys, you still gotta like one of these. Thank you. It's kind of like a Mustang yes. or a Corvette, you know what I'm saying, or a Camaro. Mm -hmm. If you're a hot rider, you gotta be able to appreciate those cars. And, and you same know? with us guys too. You know, we appreciate anything that's got its performance. That's what I'm saying, you know? It's just one of those cars that they just nailed from the factory and, you know, they had it right and, cause that's cool, man, cool is cool and that is it. Thanks. That's what we were looking for. The big old 426 Hemi. Man, and then everything would have been painted under here like this. There wouldn't have been any black or anything. That's correct. Uh, the Mopar uh, assembly line would paint the cars all as one piece, and the assembly for the K the K frame, the front suspension, was actually married from the bottom of the car and came to the top. And four bolts in the K member, the upper control arms, transmission mount, and then only a few hookups. They had to work over the fenders to to assemble. So they had all this assembled when it went through the paint shop. That's correct. The inner fenders and yes. all that stuff. Yes. They don't do that no more. But these are metal inner fenders too. I'm yes. guessing they're yeah, not plastic. It's a right? unibody. Yeah. Yes. Man, I'm alive. Dude, that's a beautiful car. Anybody we need to give a shout out on? I guess you didn't redo it in forever, so there's nobody really to thank that, for this That's thing. true. They're probably long gone by now, but uh, I appreciate all the friends and family that uh, stuck with me for all these all this time. You know, to right. enjoy this car. You know, it's not just for me. It, right. My entire family. I have two sons that were in the core, and my wife. I've bought two houses since I've had this, and it stayed with me this whole time. So right. I give a shout out to them. Hey, no doubt about it, because there's so many stories out there. We all hear them. That man, I had this car. And and then I got married and had kids, and you know what I'm saying? 40 years went by, and I didn't get to do it, but yet somehow you stressed through it. You must be a heck of a salesman because, you know, you kept the old lady from not uh, making you sell it, you She's know? She's a sweetheart, that's right, it. Right, right, man. We got to thank the families for what letting us do what we do. Thank you. Thank you, brother. This is such a cool car, guys. I just wanted to make sure we got a good walk around from a distance so you could really, you know, see it. I know y'all like to see it all in one shot, not just pieces. And when I'm shooting it, sometimes it's hard for me to remember whether we got that or not. But man, what an awesome car. Pistol grip shift, just everything, dude. Like I was telling Terry, man, it doesn't matter what your brand loyalty is. You know, these cars are classic and they're cool. And this one's done right, you know, that red and the flat and, you know, just kind of a throwback to the Trans Am era. Very cool. And look how well it's held up, right? I mean, you know, you're talking about original vinyl top, you're talking about 25 year old paint and I mean, this thing win, it probably won an award last weekend somewhere. It may win an award this weekend. I mean, it's just that cool of a car, and I love the no hub caps, you know? Just done right. Just done right. So there you go, folks. There is a, uh, what I say, a 72 Cuda from the uh, Street Rod Nationals plus in Louisville, Kentucky. Terry, thanks so much, brother. Scott, it's been a pleasure. Thank, thank you, thank much. you. Awesome car, man. Thank thanks you. for building it. Thanks for keeping it this way. Great. Thank you. Folks, there you go. Like I said, 72 Cuda from Street Rod Nationals plus Louisville, Kentucky 2014. See ya.